Two days after North Korea's failed attempt to launch a spy satellite, a joint security advisory has been issued by South Korea and the U.S. on a North Korean hacking group. Now, Kim Suki has been stealing information and technology needed for space technology and satellites. Our Yi Seung Jae starts us off. In response to the North's failed space rocket launch to put its military reconnaissance satellite into space, South Korea on Friday imposed unilateral sanctions on a North Korean hacking group. The fresh sanctions have been imposed against a group known as Kim Soo Ki, which Seoul's foreign ministry says is a unit within the Reconnaissance General Bureau, the North's military intelligence agency. The hacking group is accused of extracting intelligence from individuals and institutions in the fields of diplomacy, security and national defense, and handing it to the North Korean government. Kim Soo Ki is also known to engage in acquiring cutting-edge technologies related to weapons development, satellites and space technology globally, while also directly or indirectly contributing to Pyongyang's satellite development project. Authorities say the group steals information using spear phishing, which mainly uses emails and websites. Seoul also issued a joint security advisory with Washington to warn the international community of the hacking group. It provided detailed information about the hacking techniques used by the group while recommending that precautions are taken against suspicious activities to prevent potential damage. The joint advisory was released together with South Korea's National Intelligence Service, the Korean National Police Agency, and South Korea's Foreign Ministry, along with the U.S. FBI, the U.S. State Department, and the NSA. The latest sanctions mark the world's first unilateral sanctions against Kim Soo Ki and is the eighth unilateral sanction against the North since the start of the Yoon Suk administration in May 2022. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.